The MiG-35 multi-role fighter was developed by Mikoyan Design Bureau in the early 2000s. It is a significantly improved version of the MiG-29. This fighter aircraft has the latest electronic equipment, new engines, and other systems. The MiG-35 made its first flight and was first publicly revealed in 2007. Its reporting name in the West is Fulcrum F. The aircraft was developed for a number of years. In 2013, it was announced that Russian Air Force plans to order a total of 37 new aircraft. By 2016, a total of three prototypes and two pre-production aircraft were completed. Factory trials of this aircraft were completed in 2017. In 2019, two of these multi-role fighters were delivered to the Russian Air Force for trials and evaluation, and another four were planned to be delivered by the end of 2019. The MiG-35 was also proposed for export customers, including Algeria, Egypt, and India. However, by 2021, this fighter received no production orders. Currently, the MiG aircraft manufacturer is facing financial hardship. No new MiG aircraft are being produced. Its income comes only from servicing operational fighters that are in service with the Russian Air Force, as well as export customers. In 2021, it was announced that the MiG Corporation will sell 60 hectares of its facilities in Moscow. Currently, all new Russian fighter aircraft are being produced by Sukhoi Aircraft Manufacturer. Main roles of this aircraft is to gain air superiority as well as to perform all-weather precision ground strikes. It can also perform aerial reconnaissance with special equipment. The MiG-35 multi-role fighter was developed from the MiG-29M. Overall design of the new aircraft is similar to that of the baseline MiG-29. The first prototype was a modification of the aircraft that previously served as the MiG-29 Mem-2 model demonstrator. Mikoyan Design Bureau classifies the MiG-35 as a 4 generation fighter. Due to increased weight, the new aircraft is now classed as medium weight fighter. The new aircraft has vastly improved avionics and weapon systems, notably the new Fazatron Zhuk Active Phased Array Radar. This radar detects more targets, is more resistant to electronic countermeasures, has longer detection range and can track and engage more targets simultaneously. It has a detection range of about 130-160 km for air targets and 300 km for ships. The MiG-35 can track 30 targets and engage six of them simultaneously. The aircraft is also fitted with two optical location systems. The forward one looks for air targets. It can detect incoming fighters at least from 50 kilometers and outgoing fighters at least from 90 kilometers. The second optical location system is placed under fuselage and looks for surface targets. It can detect a tank at 20 kilometers. However, it seems that avionics and sensors of the MiG-35 are inferior comparing to Western designs. Aircraft proposed for export can be fitted with avionics and onboard equipment made by Russia, USA, France, Israel, or other countries. This multi-role fighter is armed with a 30mm cannon and carries 150 rounds of ammunition. Aircraft has nine external hardpoints and can carry up to 7,000 kilograms of payload. It can use various air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles, unguided rockets, precision-guided and free-fall bombs. It is claimed that this aircraft has a variety of integrated defensive systems to increase combat survivability. It is likely that this fighter will be fitted with a new Italian multifunction jammer. The MiG-35 is fitted with two Klimov RD-33 MK engines. At the moment, it is the latest version of the RD-33. Originally, this engine was designed for MiG-29K and MiG-29KUB naval fighters. It has 7% more power than the baseline model and provides higher thrust. Engines include systems that reduce infrared and optical signature. Optionally, the aircraft can be fitted with RD-33 MKV engines with thrust vectoring nozzles. Thrust can be directed in two planes. This would increase combat efficiency of the aircraft by 12 to 15 percent. Currently, the only production fighter to use a two-plane thrust vectoring nozzles is the Russian Sukhoi Su-35. Other thrust vectoring aircraft, 
such as F-22 Raptor and Su-30 MKI, have nozzles that vector only in one plane, 